Hello, hello, hello folks. How is it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jack, also known as Worth the Space, and today we've got the start of a brand new mini-series here on YouTube. Now, this mini-series is a bottom of Christmas challenge with Southampton that is taken from my live stream. I live stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Worth the Space, F1 manager, football manager, the full shebang. You should come join us over there. As for this mini-series, it is going to tell the story of me trying to avoid the drop. Going to Southampton after the Winter World Cup, they hadn't won a game five points all season was i going to be the man to turn their fortunes around hopefully you enjoy if you do make sure to be subscribed as part two will be coming your way very very soon until then enjoy this it's me jack i'll talk to you uh well in two seconds after the intro all right here we are southampton the dream oh god are we even gonna have any money to keep them up ah oh. 23 million! Oh, we can do this. Alright, tactical style. Now, some people would overthink tactical style. I'm thinking fluid counter attack, 4 3 3. Let's think about. I mean, Ward. I love Ward Prowse for set pieces, but he's a bit rubbish at everything else. We're going to have to be a set. We're going to have to be set piece FC, we are. We are going to have to be a proper kind of Brexit set piece team. I think. I think Ward Prowse is the first one. The thing is, I kind of want to play him as like a deep line playmaker. Is Southampton's team really this bad in real life? Like they've got some really good young players like Lavia. We'll give Lavia game time. Lavia, more like Ladvia. I we'll have to pick a goalkeeper as well. McCarthy v Bazunu. Bazunu's better, isn't he? I feel like the, probably the issue here is they're not scoring. Does the does does the stats confirm that they've scored seven goals in sixteen? They've scored seven goals in sixteen games and not won a match. My first thought is we we probably <laughs> probably need a whole new attack. I think we'd have to play Armstrong as an inside forward. I mean we've got pace in the wide areas. Like we should be able to hit teams on the break. I'm not. I'm not wowed. Is anyone else feeling as suitably underwhelmed as I? This isn't a team that's getting me excited yet, but we'll, we'll make it exciting, you know? What's the board expectation? Avoid relegation. I think this is my best 11 at the moment. So we're gonna play the, f we're gonna play a fluid counter attack and we're gonna play a low block and see how it works. Okay, marvellous the cambers we recommended. We got 23 million. Should we just go sign Andrea Sheldor up? Is, is he available? Is it just going to be a meme when I side him in every single save game? I mean, he would fit our team. He would fit our team on the left-hand side. I'm feeling daring today. Twanzebe Kuame? Kuame for 2.5 million. Chat, am I going crazy or is that the bargain of a century? No better than Adams. He's definitely better than Adams. He's good in the air. He's be better in the air. And faster. And speed matters. For 2.5 million, I don't have a backup striker. Walcott's on £70,000 a week. What the dickens? Get him gone. Get him, get out my club. Right, no idea how Sheffield Wednesday and League One are going to be able to afford Walcott's wages. But we'll hope that someone can make it happen. Brentford want Koami. Why are they doing this? Why are you like this, Brentford? Let me have him. I think, I think we're good enough to avoid relegation. Yeah! They love me. They pissed love me. They're going to die in battle for me. I feel like a Spartan leader right now. Oh, bloody hell. It's, it's first match vibes. I don't know if I'm ready. Right. It's a big big occasion here. We're playing fluid counter-attack on the counter. They said you can play a low block this year. We're going to find out. Any score predictions, chat? Will we, will we score? If we score, I'd be kind of happy about that. To be honest, that that is where my expectations are at today. Yeah, they've got James. Look at them; they've not won in their last five. 
This is where the inspirational comeback begins. Look at that. I mean, the team actually looks like it makes sense on paper. So that's something. Also, Aston Villa are in third in this save game. Fulham are in fourth with zero goal difference. I have quite, I didn't look at the league table very closely. Fulham are in fourth. Walker Peters switches it. That is a bloody hell. Okay, um, that's it's worked out. It's fine. I just want to see a goal today. I just want to see a goal today. I just want to see you donkey. You absolute wazzock. I mean, we've not yet had a shot on target, but don't let that distract you from the fact it's nil-nil and we have a better XG. Set piece, we deal with these. Second ball, we deal with these. Shit. It's one nil. Oh, look at it, we, we were all over them. We weren't all over them, but they weren't doing anything to us. You've been terrible. I'm throwing a water bottle. I'm leading with an iron fist to begin. Everyone has played badly. Is Seiku Mara any good? I mean, he's not terrible. You know what, Mara? This is you. This is your kind of chance. They say it's a marathon, not a sprint. We're going to find out together if that's the case. Please do so. If we can see lose one nil to a set piece, that will be a disappointing way to lose our first game. They're playing with an engaunch. No one plays with an engaunch. Or oh, was a highlight. Oh no, our left back's on the floor injured. Get up, Perot! Get up! Stop sunbathing! It's a uh, that is suboptimal. <laughs> Not a great day, P. Bazunu, more like you can't do do anything in goal. They've <sighs> we've been we've been FM'd. We've been FM. Look at this. Look. <sighs> it's okay. If I'm throwing a water bowl. Armstrong seems anxious. Don't give a Scooby Doo, son. I don't feel like that was terrible. Bizarrely or not. You know, if we can get in just a couple of creative players, if we can get in Kuame, I'll be happy. I'll tell you what, if Brentford steal this signing, I'm going to kick off. He looks very good. Need a new goalkeeper. No, no, no. We keep faith in the goalkeeper. It's Sifuentes here. Good. He doesn't look terrible. Apparently a B plus. You know what? B plus. I don't need to scout players properly. No yearly wage rise. Oh. He better get a work permit. We'll find out. If he doesn't get a work permit, it's going to be a disaster. <gasps> oh, Kawame's chosen to join us. That's big. First big signing. We're taking on Newcastle at home. I kind of want to try playing the low block, but with attacking on for the mentality. So when we win the ball, we look to hit teams back quickly and commit men to the attack. I think that's the play. Early set piece. This is what we live for. The Ward Prowse corner. We're here. We've arrived. We're bloody massive. And Kayuno is too. Let's go. I might have got carried away there. Just, just a little bit. They're post corners. They fix them. Hey, Andy, how's it going? So for the story for this second game, for people arriving a little bit late, we have holidayed forward and taken over the team bottom at Christmas. Which was Southampton. They did have a win in their first 16 games. Five draws. But we might be about to get their first win of the season. I'll be honest, we've scored and then we've done nothing since the seventh minute. But that's fine. You know what? At this point, we go defensive. At this point, we shut up shop a little bit. Oh, Aribo. Do it again, Aribo. Do it, at you donkey. I'm putting the Aribos away. They're going away again. Oh, no, there's not... A, God, I don't want another highlight. The game can end now. Can we just finish the game? Can we finish the game after an hour? Ward Prowse. Gineppo. Come on! Come on! First win of the season, second game in charge. I'm a genius. Now we tie waist to the max. I'm enjoying, by the way, everyone coming in late going, sorry I'm late because of X reason. I'm glad that that meme has been reborn. Oh, Mara. Mara! Mara! He's offside. Don't celebrate it. Everyone sit down. Sit down. Stop the party.
Has oh, anyone noticed that the linesmen raise their flag if it's offside, even with VAR? If they don't raise their flag, then it's onside. Have you have you guys noticed that? So when he scores here, the line no raised his flag, so I knew it was offside immediately. Whereas if he doesn't raise his flag, it means it's a goal. I don't want to ruin VAR for people in FM23 early, but there you go. If you enjoyed it in FM22 where you could figure it out, it, it, you can still do it now. Oh, Arebo. Come on! Four goals in one game. I don't know if this team had four goals in them before today. Oh, my word. We're bloody massive. You know how I talked earlier about getting relegated to come back up? Forget that. We're staying up in the big time. Ward Prowse, 8.8. .8. Everyone loved that. We're still bottom of the league. We're still bottom by... Well, we, we're still eight points away from safety. But beating Newcastle, that is significant. And I think that will do it for now. I hope you enjoyed this first taster of what to expect with this bottom at Christmas challenge. Hopefully you enjoyed the editing and the overall format of this. Something a little bit different, taking a highlight package of live stream stuff and packaging it here on YouTube. But I think it's pretty entertaining. I think it's worth a watch. And who doesn't like to see me molding and losing my mind? Apparently everyone enjoys that. So I figured people on YouTube would too. As I said at the top of things, if you got to the end of the video, especially, make sure to like the video. Be subscribed for the next part coming your way very, very soon. And until then, take it easy. It's me, Jack, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.